Hi, it's Nell with the blog Joyous Garden and welcome to this video all about cactus soil mix. So we do videos and blog posts all about gardening both indoors and outdoors. So if you're new, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I really appreciate it. We got lots of videos and blog posts for you to check out here and on our website, joyousgarden.com. So I wanted to do this separate video dedicated to cactus soil mix because it's important that they do, they do best and they like, they need a special soil mix. It needs to be well drained. It needs to be aerated and the, and the, and the water needs to go in and then just go right out because they don't like to have their roots wet at all. People have their favorite mixes they use for cactus and succulents. It's up to you. There's a lot of them on the market. There's a lot of DIY recipes. I use a DIY recipe, which I have shared with you before in the indoor succulent series. I'll leave a, um, a link to that below in case you're interested in the fleshy succulents too and different growers use different mixes too it's just a matter of you know preference i will leave some links in the blog post as to where you can buy succulent soil online i think the, the one that's probably the most popular is bonsai jack and i just happen to have a bag right here so here it is it has a lot of rock it has a little bit of cocoa cocoa fiber in it i think so it's a really a gritty soil mine is more a gritty mix mine's more of a chunky mix which you'll see up close to um superfly bonsai has a mix cactus cult dr earth there's all all kinds you can buy online i've used different mixes over the years um in santa barbara when i lived in santa barbara i used to buy my cactus mix at, uh, I think it was California Cactus Center in Pasadena, it's near the Arboretum. I used to buy it down there. Um, here in Tucson, I've used tanks, and then I used, um, I used Dr. Earth too. And then I used to buy this mix at EcoGrow here in, in Tucson, and then they gave me the recipe, and now I, I make my own. So I've used different mixes over the years. So again, this recipe that I use is not my own. It was created by Mark Dimmitt here in Tucson. He's a very well-known horticulturalist. He's a plant freak, a plant nerd, just our kind of person. And it is comprised of um, cocoa chips, cocoa fiber. Cocoa fiber is an environmentally more um, friendly alternative to peat moss. It also has uh, Pumice, which is a chunkier version of perlite. I prefer pumice over perlite. Uh, it's got vermiculite, agricultural lime, and elamite. So those are the good things in this soil here. And uh, I've been using it. I'm sorry, it is the early morning. <laughs> We're filming this for shade and there's so many birds out around. The, the big flock just flew off. <laughs> so I make it in bulk. I buy, um, I buy the materials in bulk also at EcoGrow in Tucson. I buy them about two times a year and then I probably make up over the year about 12, at least 12 batches of this soil. So again, this mix is chunky, well aerated. It's just great. If you buy a commercial mix, and you think it's a little too heavy, you can always add perlite, pebble, pumice to it to, to lighten it up, especially with cacti indoors. Uh, you don't want them to stay too wet at all, so just make sure whatever ever, uh, soil mix you are using does not stay damp and moist. I mix mine up in this tin that I got in Mexico many years ago. It's great, it is held up beautifully it's just the perfect size for you know for a batch and a half of it oh by the way the recipe will be in the blog post and as I said I've done a whole separate video and post on this mix so I'm not going to get into mixing it up here because you can just go to any of those and see it or you can use a tub truck I love my tub truck uh, we have them in our Amazon shop they come in different sizes. You can also get a lower one, which is beautiful for, 
for if we're doing any kind of a soil and succulent mix or a seed mix or anything like that. I have a lot of cacti indoors and outdoors because I live in Tucson, Arizona, which is the land of cacti. So uh, I do um, a lot with, with them. If you only have a couple of small ones, then just buy a small bag. It'll be fine. You know, something like this, as I said, will you'll be able to get a few plants out of this, you know, depending on your uh, pot size and it's just great. But if you're like me and you have a plant, plant addiction, I, I would recommend trying this mix. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful. Coming up next in this series is planting cacti in small pots. So be sure and come back for that. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your views. I appreciate your likes and your subscribes. Have a lot more videos coming your way and be sure and check the blog post for more information on this. And I will catch you in the next video. But oops, I forgot to say, now let's get into our indoor gardens and make our world a more beautiful place. Thank you for watching. Bye.